Ayan. So, praise God for this and for the lives that we have. So, start na muna po tayo ng devotion. We can do a fellowship later. Maybe I could um, open the um, yung tinatawag nilang ad guest and then you could uh, go up and then we could do some sharing. We could do some uh, motivate. Uh, mot of course, magpalakasan tayo sa Panginoon. But anyways, um, let's pray first before we start. <clears throat> Aming Ama na nasa langit, salamat Panginoon for this wonderful night. Thank you, O Lord, sa uh, natapos ko pong klase. Ganun din, Panginoon, salamat sa mga tao na idinako mo po rito upang makinig ng iyong salita. Thank you, Father, for everything. Thank you for the strength that you have given us throughout this day. And Lord, naway matapos namin itong gabi na to na ikaw ang aming kasama at ikaw ang aming kapiling, Panginoon. And Lord, sa aming pag-uusapan ngayon, lalo na it is about our faith. Lord, um, naway, uh, bigyan niyo po kami patuloy ng pananampalataya at Lord, ikaw ang siyang laging humawak sa amin, Panginoon. And if you see any transgression, if you, any, if you see any sin in our heart, cleanse us, Lord, with the holy blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, for everything that you have done, for all the blessings that you have given. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. <clears throat> okay. So, ayan, mga kapatid. Uh, sige nga, try ko nga itong ano. Uh, paliwanagin ayan yun, yun dumiwanag nakita nyo ako diba <laughs> ayan <clears throat> okay so what we're gonna talk about now is a of course ito yung foundation isa sa mga foundation nating mga kristyano and what is it uh, what is that of course it is faith so ano ba yung pananampalataya okay So, we will talk about that and ano ba, pa paano ba, how does it work and paano ba natin may explain yung pananampalataya. So, meron ako question sa inyo before we start or before we properly start this. So, ano ba yung faith para, para sa inyo? Ano ba yung faith? Ano ba yung pananampalataya? Ano ba yung, ano, ano ba yung, um, ano ba yung pananampalataya para sa inyo? Ano ba yung 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 the faith na sinasabi ninyo? Could could you explain it? Of course, hindi ko hindi ko naantayin yung mga sagot ninyo dito sa live, but rather uh, if you wanna comment it, then go ahead with it. So, what is faith? So, the Bible talks about faith a lot. Of course, lalo na sa pagtanggap natin sa Panginoon. The the Bible talks about um, the faith in God. Uh, because of faith, because of faith, because of faith, something like that, 'di ba? So, the word faith yung faith or pananampalataya is actually synonymous to the word trust. Yan. To the word trust. It is synonymous to the word trust. So, gusto ko munang i-build yung foundation na to sa atin ngayong gabi na yung faith is synonymous okay, to the word trust also dito sa pag-uusapan natin or sa context ng pag-uusapan natin. So, I wanna... I want to direct you to the very, very popular Bible verse na kung saan, I know, you already know this kung sinabi ko na faith. Ah, ito yung verse na pag-uusapan natin. So, in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Ano pong sabi doon? To have faith is to be sure of the things we hope for. To be certain of the things we cannot see. Ulitin ko po, sabi po ng Hebrews uh, chapter 11 verse 1. To have faith is to be sure of the things we hope for and to be certain of the things we cannot see. Purihin po ng Diyos sa pagkabasa ng kanyang banal na salita. And I want to ask a question once again. Daming tanong, no? Pero I want to ask a question for you. And you could write this down also. Could you Can you imagine uh, a world without faith? Or sabi natin without trust because it is synonymous to trust. Could you imagine a world with, without trust? C can you imagine? Like, na, na imagine nyo ba yung, yung ating mundo na, na walang pagtitiwala, na walang trust? ba? Diba? So, isipin nyo na lang na uh, yung trust is binibigay natin, of course, sa mga, sa, sa mga tao at sa ibang bagay. Hindi lang, ano, hindi lang, hindi lang siya, ano, hindi lang siya parang, uh, kasi binigay ko yung trust ko sa'yo pero sinira mo. Hindi ganon. Hindi lang yun doon sa context na yun. Pag sumakay ka ng jeep, You are giving your trust to the driver. Bakit? Na hopefully hindi niya ibangga yung jeep na hindi siya mag-amok, 'di ba? Hindi niya, 'di ba? Nadadaling ka nung jeep na yon to your destination na makakauwi ka ng matiwasa. You have that trust to that driver. Ganun din sa pagsakay natin sa eroplano, kung nakasakay na kayo sa eroplano, 'di ba? You are putting yourself in uh, you are putting your trust 
in in that airline in in that airplane in 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 the pilot what to be uh, to be able to arrive yung destination na pupuntahan mo ganun din sa government natin nung nagkaroon ng botohan we also trust that uh, president rodrigo duterte will be able to to properly manage the the philippines diba so peace and order in society of course binib- uh, yun din yung nagiging dahilan diba yung trust ang nagiging dahilan kung bakit may peace and order sa society bakit meron trust tayo sa mga batas natin okay so pag inundermine natin or pag tinanggal natin yung trust sa society natin sa mga tao sa relasyon natin sa ibang tao and sa personal ano natin personal perspective natin relationship natin definitely it will be sabi nga ni Jen Revo, chaotic it will be chaotic di ba lalo na ngayon sikat ang sa social media di ba nawawalan may nakita kong isang post sabi din nawawalan na kami ng tiwala saan marami nawawalan ng tiwala sa gobyerno marami nawawalan ng tiwala sa mga lalaki marami nawawalan ng tiwala sa mga babae sa mga relationships nila di ba and imagine a world without trust and it's gonna be chaotic it's gonna be uh, undermining this this trust will be very very uh, hard for us to be able to to imagine that world ba pupunta ka sa barbero uupo ka dun sa upuan na pupunta ka sa barber shop or sa salon you will be having to trust that you will have to trust that person na ano na na ma-visualize niya yung gupit na gusto mo na ma-visualize niya yung yung ayos ng buhok na gusto mo you're gonna trust that person bakit? paano kuya Carl? in that simple way I'm putting my trust to that person yes kasi bakit? may own free will yung barbero malay mo biglang mag trip yan kalbohin ka di ba? <laughs> di ba? but then you're putting that your trust to, to that person na maayos niya yung yung buhok mo in, in a proper way magugupit niya okay? So, parang sa atin, di ba? Ay, may tiwala naman kasi ako, di ba? Pag sinabi sa atin, may tiwala ako sa'yo. Napakasarap sa pakiramdam, di ba? Bakit? May tiwala kasi yung tao na yun. <clears throat> so, paano to ma relate sa buhay natin bilang mga Kristiyano? So, <clears throat> sabi, sab, sabi ng isang uh, quotation, Remove trust and man will be paralyzed. Remove trust and man will be paralyzed. Bakit? Kasi trust is what keeps us going. ba diba? Sa isang relationship. Trust is what will be uh, will keep you going sa inyong relasyon, dalawa. Of course, kung hindi yung pinagkakatiwalaan yun, better yet, you separate. ba diba? So it will keep us going. We live on trust, mga kapatid. We, we trust that one day we will be graduating. We trust that We trust that uh, yung mga ginagawa natin ngayon ay magbubunga eh, one day. You trust that one day you will be successful. Diba? You trust that that uh, sa mga Christians, one day we will see Jesus Christ coming in the clouds. Ganun yung, yung, ganun yung, ano, ganun yung trust natin sa Panginoon. And <clears throat> dun, yung, sa, yung sa trust na sinasabi dito, eh, paano kuya, paano na i-relate sa faith yun? Yung trust po, yung trust okay itong ganitong kalit yung 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 word na trust okay i-expand nyo po siya ng 10,000 times that's what faith is that's what faith is mga kapatid ba diba? kasi sometimes we we put we we put we put we put so little emphasis on our faith na na-undermine yung pananampalataya natin Our faith is more than it, it is ano it is a more than a uh, trusting it is it, it's just it's more than a simple trust <laughs> Foot. <laughs> Sorry nabubulol na ako kanina pa kasi sa salita diba? it is a uh, so paano yon yung faith natin it is more than just a simple trust Why yung buhay natin dito sa earth it requires trust Diba? It requires pagtitiwala. Saan? Sa mga bagay-bagay. Pag bumili ka ng pag, diba? Pag bumili ka ng gamot, you, you trust that you will be that you will be healed because of that medicine. Diba? So every every day in our life, we we put our trust in into everything that we are doing. Diba? So anong anong kinalaman nun? Bakit paano yung faith nagwo-work? Faith, 'di ba? Sabi ko nga sa kanya, 
faith is more than trust. It is not a simple trust that we put in our daily lives, but it is more than trust. Kaya nga sabi ko, yung trust, yung, yung trust, yung pagtitiwala, i-expand nyo yun ng 10,000 times. That is faith, mga kapatid. Here on earth, we require trust. But eternal life requires faith. Eternal life requires faith. While we're, we are living here on earth, kung yung mga bagay-bagay, na talagang nagaano sa atin na uh, ginagawa natin it requires trust pero when we talk about our eternal life when we when we talk about heaven it requires faith mga kapatid it requires 10,000 of those trust okay bakit po bakit bakit sinabi kaya nga po sabi ng Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 to have faith is to be sure of the things we hope for is to be sure of the things we hope for. To be certain of the things we cannot see. When you have faith, mga kapatid, it is something that you don't see. Kaya nga, di ba, faith is, is not like the world that, na, ano, to see is to believe. No. When it comes to faith, you have to believe to be able to see. Kaya nga yun yung kailangan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. For you, kailangan niya ng ano na, ng pananampalataya natin. Diba? When you when you first accept, accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, Christ as your Lord and Savior, as your Lord and Savior, ano pong ano, ano pong nangyari, di ba? We we put our faith in him. Hindi natin sinabing we put our trust in you, O Lord. No, we, we put our faith in Him. Bakit? Kasi, we are trusting the Lord 10,000 times over. Ganun po yung ginagawa. Bakit? Hello, it's eternal life that we are talking about. You will be living here on earth for 70 years, 80 years, tapos 90 years, di ba? Yun yung, ano mo, yun yung, yun yung expand mo, di ba? 120 years, umabot ka ng 200, then go for it. Pero after that, anong mangyari? And tayo mga Christian, we hold on to our faith. Okay, we hold on to our faith na kung saan, pag nawala tayo rito sa mundong ito, we will see God sitting on His throne. And we will see Him face to face. Tapos sasabihin niya sa atin, my good and faithful servant. Yun yung gusto natin bilang mga Kristiyano. Okay? Kapag ka tayo po ay merong faith, when, uh, when we have faith, we are sure that the hope that we have. So, ano po ba yung hope na yun? We hope for. What are the things that we are hoping for? Hindi lang dito pang lupa, mga kapatid. Hindi lang ito pang lupa, kundi pang langit din dapat yung the things that we are hoping for. Ano yung we are hoping for? That one day we would see Jesus Christ. That one day we will be walking in the streets of gold. That one day, sabi ng Revelation, there will be no weeping. Diba? That one day, all of us will be perfect. Why? We, hindi na tayo, there's no more sin, there's no more suffering, there's no more, there's no more pain. And that's what we are hoping for. Ba, hindi mo na kailangang magreklamo na walang ayuda galing gobyerno. Bakit? Kasi God will be there. He will be the, he will be the provider of all things. One day na hindi mo na kailangan makita yung loved one mo na, na merong suffering. ba? Bakit? Kasi everything there would be perfect. Everything there would be would, would be beautiful. Sabi ng Revelation, and He will wipe the tears from their eyes and He will be their God. Ganun po yun. Faith is what keeps us going bilang mga Kristiyano po. In these dark times, in this dark, uh, in this darkness that we are experiencing, our faith is the life that we keep on holding to. Yun po yung mga kapatid. One has faith when he is sure that what he hopes for will indeed happen. 100%. Makita nyo po yun? One has faith that he is sure that what he hopes for will indeed happen. Ang faith po is not just mangyayari kaya tong bagay na to. Hindi, hindi ganun yun eh. Ang faith po is something na, ah, alam ko mangyayari tong bagay na to. Even if I don't see it. Even if, ano, even if na hindi ko nakita si Jesus Christ na like, in, a, in the human form. Even though, even though hindi ko nakita si Jesus Christ na pinako sa cross. But I have faith that it happened. 
that it is it is it's it was for my salvation that he did it on that he died on the cross for my sins that is faith mga kapatid that even though you don't see it that even though okay even though na, you did not experience it personally be, you being there may faith ka di ba sabi niya kay Thomas nung sinabi ng Thomas na my Lord and my God pagbaba mo sa mga ilang verses sabi ni Jesus Christ blessed are those who did not see but believed blessed are those ano sabi ni Jesus Christ when you have a faith of a mustard seed ito yung dilema ang hirap magkaroon ng faith kaya nga sabi ni Jesus that each uh, if any one of you has a faith of a mustard seed kung nakakita na po kayo ng mustard seed napakaliit lang nun He could said to this mountain, di ba? Move. Pwede niyang pwede siyang magpagalaw ng mga ano, ng mga ng mga bundok. And he could command the mountains and to throw itself on the ocean. But that is the dilemma, mga kapatid. <laughs> Pansinin niyo po. Di ba yung sinabi ni Jesus Christ? Ano sinasabi niya sa mga apostol kapag uh, parang nawawalan sila ng pananampalataya? pananampalataya. Woe to you of little faith. Ba? Woe to you of little faith. Bakit? Kasi po, having faith in Jesus Christ requires you to trust Him 100% without exception, without a doubt. Kaya you cannot be a Christian who accepted the Lord Jesus Christ and then suddenly, totoo kaya si Lord. <laughs> diba? You could you you could have the evidences pero you can never doubt the existence of God. Right? Kaya kang Kristiyano eh. Diba? A follower of Christ looks at life differently. We look at life differently. Bakit po? Kasi we have faith that one day that one day on that glorious and momentous day We will see Jesus. And kung totoo yung Christianity, we 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 don't really die. Okay? Bakit po? We just transfer locations. Kasi of course dito sa buhay natin dito sa lupa, pag namatay ka, 'di ba? Being being a Christian, namatay ka and you have we have that hope that uh one day we will see Jesus Christ at wala nang suffering. Magta-transfer lang tayo ng location from earth to heaven. Mm. Hindi ka naman namatay. Di ba? Kaya nga sinasabi, sinabi dun sa kanta na isang pinapakinggan ko, I forgot the, ano, the death. Ah, yon yung ano, Christ be magnified. Di ba? Isa sa mga favorite ko yon Sabi dun, death is just a doorway into resurrection life. Kaya wag po tayong matakot mga kapatid. And if you are right now af- afraid of trusting God, of putting your faith in God, Parang minsan kasi, yung pagpuput natin ng faith sa Panginoon, it's like a very, very big step in our life. Which, totoo naman. Sobrang laking step to para sa buhay natin when we, when we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Ano po? We put our faith in God by receiving Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We live not only because we trust, but because more than anything else, we have faith. More than anything else, we have faith. Mga kapatid, I know this is a bit of a parang iniisip mo siguro, ah, alam ko na yan eh, kasi faith naman yan eh. But have you ever considered or have you ever asked yourself na, <clears throat> paano kaya kung, uh, um, paano kaya? Diba? Let's just take a scenario at first. Paano kaya? If you hadn't had faith with the Lord, if you hadn't had faith sa Panginoon, what would your life be? I know almost all of you are Christians. Almost all of you knows what Hebrews 11 verse 1 is saying. But to those people na hindi pa nakakilala sa Panginoon and you haven't put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, believe and you will see His power. Believe and you will see His goodness. 100% without exceptions, without limitations, w- without without um, excuses, without reservations. We put our faith in Him. We have high hopes because of our faith on which we lean on and depend on 
for today and tomorrow. Yun yung pananampalataya natin. In this world, mga kapatid, sometimes mahirap yung hope. Mahirap hanapin yung trust. ba? Diba? Katulad na mga kumakalat ngayon na some people cannot trust their partner. Why? Kasi may issue sa pagpapachange oil. ba? Diba? <laughs> may lumalabas yung mga, yung mga um, people are cheating. And, uh, and, and even sa community pantry, ba? Diba? People are, you know, um, having this kind of acts na hindi naman talaga dapat. When all else fails, when all else fails, mga kapatid, there is no other logical way but to have faith. Ulitin ko po. When all else fails, when all else fails, there is no logical way but to have faith. Sabi nila, parang sobra kang ano sobra kang zealous diyan or sobrang uh, dedicated ka sa pananampalataya mo because our faith is bigger than our lives mga kapatid meron po akong makilala it is with faith that they overcome the sin in their life the the depression that they had and saan po natin makukuha yung 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 faith na yun Tandaan nyo po mga kapatid, ito po yung difference ng faith sa trust, okay? So, trust is something like this. Yung objective po ng trust natin is to people, to things, to structures, to methods, to means, to, like anything. Yung objective ng trust natin, di ba? Right now, you are trusting your bank account na merong laman and that it would feed you for another day. Di ba? Right now, you are trusting your job that it would be there tomorrow that you are still be able to be employed tomorrow. Right now, you are trusting, uh, of course, me as a person, na may matutunan kayo ngayon sa akin. You, that is the kind of trust na sinasabi ko kanina pa. But what about faith? Iisa lang pong objective ng faith. Iisa lang po. Sino po yun? Si God. The object, the object, the objective, or the object of faith is God. The object of faith is God. Wala na pong iba. Sabi nga po ni Apostle Paul, if, we, if another angel preach another gospel, if any apostle preach another gospel, let him be cursed. Why? Kasi po, <laughs> eternity yung nakasalalay dito. Gano'ng kalahaba yung eternity, mga kapatid? Hindi ko alam kung gano'ng kahaba yun, pero alam ko mahaba yun, eternity eh. Diba? Infinite pa sa infinite yun. And if you could care for your life today, if you could, if you could, uh, if you could think about your life today, na paano ako magbubuhay, di ba? Paano, 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 anong kakainin ko bukas? Anong, anong, anong gagawin ko? Paano yung ganito ko? Di ba? Uh, like, everything is worry. How much, hindi na, minsan kasi ganito tayo mga tao eh. Iniisip natin yung maikling time natin dito sa lupa. Sabi ko, Yakar, grabe ka naman, maikli ba yung 70 years? Yes, maikli po yun. Don't you people want to live for eternity? Ay ba, sinasabi na, okay, 70, 75, okay na ako. And settle na yung family ko. It is more than that. Nandiyan si Kuya JC, oh. Nakikita ko si Kuya JC nandiyan. Di ba? As much that we have, as much as that we have trust. Kasi si Kuya JC, ano yan, eh. Uh, <laughs> uh, ano siya, fin- uh, financial advisor. Hello, Kuya JC. Ayan. So, <laughs> di ba? Makita, makita natin, di ba? As much that we have trust sa ating, uh, sa, sa ating buhay or sa insurances that we have, why cannot we trust God in the life that is coming? Diba? Sobrang, sobrang trust natin sa, sa, cap, sa capabilities natin. Hindi na natin naiisip na what will happen if, if I, will, I will be uh, dying tomorrow? Or what will, will, what will happen if I face eternity? Diba? We live on trust in this earth, mga kapatid. But we need faith to be able to move on to the next life. And what I'm talking the next life is not reincarnation. Okay? 
it is not ano it is not uh, something like you, you just pop off of existence hindi po ganun the faith that we have is a 100% assurance that when we die that when we die even though we're sinful Jesus Christ died for our uh, for our sins 2000 years ago to be able to pay it in full and that when we die and enter the gates of heaven Sino yung representative natin? Si Jesus Christ. At hindi tayo matatalo dun sa kaso na meron tayo. Bakit? Si Jesus Christ kasi yung representative natin. Why? Because one day you're in your life, one day in your life dito sa lupa, you decided to put your faith, not just your trust, your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. At mga kapatid, wala namang mawawala sa inyo if you put your faith in Jesus. Huwag po kayong matakot. Huwag po kayong matakot. You must really believe. Yan po yun, mga kapatid. A true follower of Christ has faith. A true follower of Christ has faith po, mga kapatid. Paano po ba nag-work yun? Faith is something that God gives to us. And right now, sa mga tao na wala ng hope, or you feel lonely, you feel depressed, you, uh, you are anxious, diba, pagod na tayo. Diba, pagod na sa, sa buhay. Have faith, mga kapatid. Have faith in Jesus. He brings joy. He brings peace. He will save you from from that trouble that you have right now. And sometimes, mahirap. Opo, totoo. Mahirap. Even, even for me, bilang isang preacher of the word, mahirap po. But the joy that no one can compare, na alam ko that one day may kita ko yung Savior ko face to face, that one day I will see God, and I will enter the gates of heaven, and I will walk the streets of gold with Jesus holding my hand and leading me to the throne of God where I can bow and worship is a very, very wonderful thing po, mga kapatid. And all of that, hindi po pinagdadamot ng Panginoon yun. He just requires you to have faith in Him. Napakasimpleng word. Napakasimpleng devotion. Napakasimpleng preaching po ng faith. Pero po, it is the very thing that keeps us going. Huwag niyo pong, huwag niyo pong mamaliitin yung pananampalataya. Bakit po? Bakit po hindi natin kailang maliitin yung pananampalataya? Because without faith, without faith, isipin niyo na lang, si Apostle Paul, walang pananampalataya. Isipin niyo na lang po, sila Peter, sila, sila James, sila Andrew, yung mga characters sa Bible, sila David, sila Moses, sila Joshua, sila, uh, sila Prophet Mingtan. Di ba? Wala silang faith. Si Abraham, wala siyang faith. I think, it won't be, it, I, the, the scriptures will not be fulfilled. Even though alam ko, gagamit ang Lord ng ibang tao, pero it's gonna, di, it's gonna be a different story. Isipin nyo na lang po. And ano pong sinasabi ng ano, ng banan ako sa luatan. I want you to go to the book of Hebrews right now. I want you to go to chapter 11. Sabi po dito in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. By faith, we understand that the universe was created by the word of God so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. And in verse, ano po? In verse 6, sabi dun, And without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who seek Him. By faith, mga kapatid. By faith. By faith, we know that God exists. By faith, I am living. By faith, I am preaching here that because I know the salvation that, that I receive coming from the Lord Jesus Christ is ought to be shared. 
Kasi po kung wala akong faith, I won't be doing this. Hindi po ako magsasayang ng ilang minuto ko para lang po sabihin sa inyo to. Sabi ko nga po sa JTOX family, if Christianity, if I am not convinced that Christianity is true, I would be the one or the first one na tatalikod sa Christianity. If I am not convinced that this is true, if I don't have faith that this is true, that this is the true, that Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth, and the life, I would be the first one to deny Him. Kung hindi po siya totoo. But no, I have faith, 100% without a doubt, that He is the Savior of the world, that He is the Savior of all mankind, that He died for my sins, and that He loves me so much that He, had, that he has to bore it until to the cross. And there is no other thing sweeter than that, mga kapatid. Even though, diba, isa, yung, yung mga iba sabi, well, hindi yung mga lalaki mahirap kiligin yan. No. Hindi po kami mahirap kiligin. Bakit? <laughs> When I heard the story of Jesus Christ dying for me, it was the most wonderful story that I ever heard. And until now, kapag naaalala ko po yun, I smile and I just, you know, I just praise God for it. Kaya nga po, the, the one of the solace of the Reformation or one of the alones of the Reformation is by faith alone. The salvation that we have is by faith alone, through grace alone, in Christ alone, and to the glory of God alone. Diba? That is, the, that is faith, mga kapatid. And let me end with this. Let me go back to Hebrews 11 verse 1. To have faith is to be sure of the things we hope for. What are you hoping for in this life and in the life to the next? What are you hoping for? And sabi dun sa pangalawa, to be certain of the things we cannot see. We cannot see God. We cannot see... The kingdom of God, literally. We, we did not see Jesus walking around, healing people. We didn't see the uh, the apostles. Hindi natin inabot sila. Lalo na sa amin. Lalo na sa ating mga kabataan. Diba? Ewan ko kung may nakaabot dito ng mga apostol. So, hindi <laughs> ko alam kung ba't buhay pa kayo. Pero, tindi nyo naman kung naabutan yung mga apostol. Even the, the, even the apostolic fathers. Even their... Yung ano, yung mga ano nila, yung mga apo, yung mga disa disciples nila. Some of us hindi na inabot 'yun. Of course, all of us hindi natin inabot 'yun 2020 2021 na eh. Di ba? But how? Like Di ba? Paano na paano tayo magiging sure? God gave us this very wonderful gift, mga kapatid. It is the free will to decide if we want to put our faith in God or not. Para po sa akin, napakagandang ano nun. It signifies, it signifies that God is not imposing. Hindi niya tayo tinutulak na mahalin siya. Hindi niya tayo tinutulak na mahalin siya. He wants us to come to Him in our own free will. Para pagkatiwalaan siya at magkaroon ng pananampalataya sa Kanya. We live on trust in this earth, mga kapatid. But for us to be able to live the next life, we need to have faith. Ngayon, ang question ko, ang challenge ko sa inyo, mga kapatid, is where would you put your faith in? Or who would you put your faith in? Or to whom would you put, would you, um, to whom would you put your faith in? Mga kapatid, our life here is just half of the picture of a bigger one. My life, our life here is not the full picture. Hindi pa to tapos pag nawala ka. Pag nawala ka dito, yes, people will, will be moving on. But what happens to you? Kaya nga po sabi ko, di ba? It is better to have faith in God and when I died, I would see none than to not have faith with God but when I die, I would see one. Diba? 
and God is offering us God is offering us a salvation like no other wala pong ibang relihiyon na nag-offer ng salvation like Jesus Christ like the Christianity does Christianity is the only religion that you don't have to that you don't have to work for your own salvation that wala ka nang gagawing mga ritual wala ka nang gagawing mga kung anong kung ano-ano why because Jesus paid it all on the cross he did it for us search for it Makita po ninyo, everything, every relig- every other religion is by works. Gawin mo to para pumunta ka ng langit, gawin mo tong ritual na to, gawin mo tong ganito, gawin mo tong ganyan, kailangan ganito, tumalong ka ng 12 beses, ganito, ganyan, 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 kailangan magsuot ka nito. But in Christianity, no. Jesus Christ offers us a free invitation in His kingdom. A free invitation to each and every one of us in His kingdom and a free gift kung gusto mo yung kingdom na yun, kung gusto mong pumasok sa kingdom na yun kita nyo po yung beauty ng Christianity yung beauty na kung pagka di binigay natin yung pananampala yung nilagay natin yung pananampalataya natin sa Panginoong Heso Kristo na gusto niya magkaroon tayo ng buhay na walang hanggan mag, na gusto niya magkaroon tayo ng buhay na masagana Not just here on earth, but also to the coming life. Now, mga kapatid, again. When I say faith, it means that we are sure and we are certain, even though we cannot see things. Even we cannot see Jesus, we are 100% sure that He is seated right now at the right hand of the Father and that He is right now hearing us at habang kayo nanonood ng live ko He is right now looking to you and if you haven't put on your faith sa Panginoon maybe it's time because you could only experience you can only experience true happiness and joy in the person and in the work of Jesus Christ. Wala pong ibang bagay. <laughs> Wala pong ibang bagay sa mundong to ang makakapagbigay ng satisfaction sa inyo. Everything in this world is temporary. Bumili ka ng bagong bahay, bumili ka ng bagong gamit, pagtapos nun, wala na. Wala na excitement. Wala na yung ano, ah, kabila ang bahay, so what? Yung satisfaction to be able to yung satisfaction to be able to kapag ka sasasabi, ay, makabili lang ako ng bagay na to. Satisfied na. Ano nabili mo? Dapat pala, ito yung binili ko. Yung isa pala. See? We're never satisfied. But when we have Jesus, we have satisfaction in Him. He can only be the one who, Siya lang yung makapagbigay sa atin nun. Wala nang iba. So, I'm calling to you, mga kapatid. I'm pleading I'm pleading and I'm begging you that have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and see what he can do with your life see what he can do with your life you will be amazed in what he can do if he can create the heavens and the earth in six days how much more in your life He, if he could make something out of nothing how much more sa iyo diba na binigay niya yung buhay niya na mahal na mahal niya tayo we just have to come to faith to him and lastly mga kapatid we have high hopes because of our faith on which we can lean on and depend on for today and tomorrow. You're unsure of the future? Go to the one who have seen it all, the, om- the omniscient God. You're afraid of uh, the coming life or death? Go to the one who provides life. He is the living water. 
Sino yun? Si Jesus Christ yun. And remember that the objective of trust is on people, on things, on systems and structures and everything. But the objective of faith is God alone. Now, the question is, and let me close with this. Where? To whom? How? Would you, would you like your faith to be placed? Is it with the world? Or is it with the one who conquered the world? Choose wisely, mga kapatid. Choose wisely where to put your faith on. Choose wisely. Let's pray. Father God who created the heavens and the earth, we thank you, Panginoon, for this wonder wonderful night of um of devotion, Panginoon. Salamat sa mga taong nandito, Panginoon, upang makinig ng iyong salita. Salamat, Panginoon, sa iyong salita in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 that uh, the faith that we have, Panginoon, is the, the, the sureness of things that we hope for and the certainty of the things that we cannot see. Salamat, Panginoon, for this gift of faith that you have for us. Thank you, Father, for you have revealed your Son, Panginoon, 2,000 years ago to be able to, to die for our sins and for us to be able to to have a privilege of having faith to you, Panginoon, without anything in return. Thank you for our salvation is of by faith alone, through grace alone. Thank you, Panginoon, for this, Panginoon, na ginawa ng aming Panginoong Heso Kristo on the, on the cross. This is the most wonderful story that we have ever heard, that the creator of the whole universe, the one through whom in 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 him all things were made but yet become nothing even to the form of the servant and being obedient to your will almighty father even to the death on the cross salamat panginoon for your love for your mercy for your grace lord wag mo hayaan panginoon na ma-waver yung aming pananampalataya let our let the objective of our faith be you alone, Panginoon. Hold our faith. Give us faith, Father, to each and every day of our life that we will be able to trust in you. And Lord, one day we are hoping to see you face to face. We are sure of this 100% without a, without a doubt. And we are waiting for that momentous and glorious day that we will be with you forever and that we would save your uh, that we will we will savor the savior his presence that we could see your smile one day lord jesus christ and tell us how 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 you love us panginoon that one day we could hug you panginoon we will be waiting for that day we will be waiting for your return almighty god thank you lord for this and lord sa mga nakikinig po sa akin ngayon bless them father Protect them against COVID-19. Huwag niyo pong hayaan na magkasakit sila, Panginoon. Keep them healthy. Not just yung healthy body. But Lord, also keep the relationships that they have healthy also, Father. Huwag niyo pong hayaan na yung mga anak po ninyo ay uh, ma-fall away sa pananampalataya, ma-swept away ng mga ibang doktrina. But rather, Panginoon, reveal your truth to us, which is your word, the Holy Bible. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for talking to us tonight. Salamat, Panginoon. There is no English word or there is no uh, words, Panginoon, that we could utter how much we are thankful for your word and for your Son, Jesus Christ. May we always put our trust in you, Almighty God, and to have faith in you always. Thank you, Lord. Open the gates of heaven and bless every, each and every one under the sound of my voice. Salamat po, Panginoon. And as we part our ways, uh, later on, uh, may you and you give us a good night uh, sleep, Panginoon. At patuloy na ang banal mong spirito ang siyang mag-comfort sa amin at iyong presensya ang patuloy na managana sa bawat isa. Protect each and every one of us, Father, as we sleep. At maraming maraming salamat po. Brought your blessings to them, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.